Hey guys, it's Mitch from iPhoneDevelopers.com and today I'll be showing you how to jailbreak the latest iOS, iOS 5.1. Now this jailbreak is currently for all A4 devices which include the iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd generation and the iPad 1st generation. This jailbreak is not for the iPad 2 or the iPhone 4S. So getting into the jailbreak, this is a tethered jailbreak meaning that if you do restart your device or that it does die on you you will have to plug it back into your computer and open up red snow and do the just boot option to get it from the apple logo screen back to its normal state of your device here so make sure that your device is currently on ios 5.1 by going into the settings and then the about and there you should see that my device is on 5.1 if yours is not you can go ahead and update over the air via wi-fi or plug it into your computer and update right on your computer. So first off, make sure that your device is on and that it is plugged into your computer via USB. Make sure that you do hear the chime to make, uh, make sure that your computer does recognize your device here. Then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up Red Snow 0.9.10 Beta 6. This is for Mac and Windows. The links for Red Snow will be in the description below. Then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the Red Snow program. At the bottom, make sure that it does recognize your device. Here I have an iPod Touch 4th generation on iOS 5.1 and then you want to go ahead and click jailbreak here it tells you how uh, a little bit of the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 cannot be jailbroken using Red Snow 0.9.10 beta 6 on iOS 5.1 but now we want to go ahead and put it into DFU mode now this method that I'll be showing you bypasses DFU mode and all we have to do is hold the top and the bottom of our device here for 10 seconds keep on holding it in and once the Apple logo screen does appear you can go ahead and hold I mean let go of the power button and continue holding the home button then on your computer screen you'll see that it is exploiting with lime rain in red snow and it'll be uploading the first and second stages and waiting for your device to reboot. Then in Red Snow, it will be preparing the jailbreak data by processing some kernels here and some RAN disk. This may take a little bit of time, so just be patient. Then here we have the option to install Cydia, the custom bundle, the battery percentage, or enable multitask gestures. As of right now, I'm just going to go ahead and install Cydia like uh, default. Then go ahead and click next. And your device will reboot and it will be uploading the RAM disk. On your device, you should see the downloading jailbreak data. Then on your device, a bunch of line of code will appear. This is normal, so do not freak out. And then in Red Snow, it will tell you that this is a tethered jailbreak, which I did explain at the beginning of the video, meaning if your device is turned off or um, you do reboot it, I mean, uh, you will have to plug it back into Red Snow and do the Just Boot option. So you can go ahead and close out of that. And then we are done with Red Snow on the computer, and the rest of the jailbreak process just takes done on our uh, iPod Touch here. Then our device here, you will have the pineapple logo appear. Your device then will restart once it is done. And once your device has restarted, if you go ahead and slide to unlock, you will notice that we do have the Cydia as a white icon 
and you will not be able to open up that nor your Safari button. To fix this issue, you want to go ahead and reopen your Red Snow. Make then sure. go into the extras. Make sure your device is connected still. And here you want to do the just boot option. If you go ahead and click that, this will take us into the DFU mode, but we can bypass this by holding the top and bottom buttons of our device here for 10 seconds. Then the slide to power off will come up. And then once after 10 seconds, you can let go of the top and continue holding the bottom here. And then on Red Snow, it will be doing the Just Boot option and uploading and exploiting here. On your device, you will see the Pineapple logo then. Then once your device has restarted, you will be able to slide to unlock, and you should see that the Cydia is now the original icon rather than the white icon. And if you go ahead and open it up, you will be able to choose who you are, either a user, hacker, or developer. And then you should be able to open up Cydia to the home page here and use all of its functions. So if you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up, leave any comments below. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks, guys.